Hey YouTube, I am back and I am going to give you today um, a makeup tutorial. Um, I'm going to try to do a one brand thing, but about about one, two, three, four, five, six other products might not be. Um, might not be. Well, seven other products might not be um, LA colored, LA color um, products. So fun pair I'm looking for. Now we can get started. Here we go. So I'm gonna get a pull from here real quick. Um, what I'm going to show you is a simple um i said um got inspired by the royal wedding to i wanted to, to do this sunday but i didn't have chance so i am going to do it today i am going to do my version excuse me y'all of the um uh, of a bridal makeup look So let's get started. So the first thing I'm putting on is the Maybelline Master Primer. I put at least two dots on my face. Okay. So that is the, um, this is the product right here. 100 so we're just going to set it to the side so the next thing is we is that's um a non la color product um excuse me y'all okay then we have the essence cosmetics eye heart stage eyebrow i mean excuse me um eyeshadow base if my eye looks Red, I am so sorry. It does that a lot. And lately, I haven't been getting enough sleep at night. When you live in the country, a lot of, you hear a lot of stuff from the road. Especially if you live in a trailer like I do. All right. I'm doing that. So, the other thing is, I haven't used this in a long time. It's the first LA Color thing I'm using is LA Color Color Pro Concealer um, um, Up Stick. And so, I am going to be color correcting here. Around my mouth. Right in here. Where it kind of make a W on my face. In the tip of my nose. So, pretty orange. Usually this don't act right. But today we're going to see if it's going to act right. Here we go. We're going to use this. Okay. 
So you have that brush up, but I always go in with my sponge. This is one of my favorite sponges. Even though it needs you to be All right, we're going to leave that out, and we're going to start on the eyes. So, what I'm going to take is, we're going to take this brush right here, and if you're a uh, color brilliant like I am, like my color, I use as a start off base to go over the whole lid is LA Color Matte Eyeshadow in Foxy. And if I look down, I'm looking in a mirror. With this brush, we're just gonna go. It's just we're going all the way around, just over the whole lot. Not all the way up, but just all over the lid of the eye. All right, so there you go with that. So then we're gonna go. Let's see. We're gonna go in with this. Okay, we're gonna let me do something first. So before we do, we're gonna go go. We're gonna go back for a minute. We're gonna go into the brows. Whatever your eyebrow preference is, it's okay. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to be using the CoverGirl Easy Breezy Brow Pencil in Dark Brown. And I'm going to go here. So that's the brow. It's easy and very light. So we're going to take, these are my brow pencils right here. Usually I have three, but I have more than um, three out. But today I just wanted to do that. So that's the first half of doing that. The second oh, yeah. is doing this. takes a little bit off and now 
going in with this. There you go. So that will be that. So you're going to take that and do that. Now we're going to take the foundation. Now the foundation is a newer foundation. It is the LA Color True Matte. True Matte. LA Color is Truly Matte. Um, long wearing high pigment foundation. It is a uh, 1.35 fluid ounce, and I have it in cappuccino. This has always been my color. So, yeah. Let's do it this way because it is. I do not know why it's acting up, y'all, so bear with me for a bit. Okay. So we're going to do it this way. So then we're going to take the brush we used earlier and just buff it, do a buff. So we're going to conceal under the eye. Using the same color concealer. I'm going to bring it a little bit down the bridge of my nose. Here we go. 
time. So now we're going to use the LA LA Colors Eye Heart Makeup. Alright. So we're going to take let's see. We're going to take okay. Excuse me, we're gonna take this brown color right here and put it in the crease. We're gonna put it in the crease. And put it in the same other crease as well. We have another brown that's going to um, darken it a little. And we're going to take this fluffy blush. Okay, and then from that, we're going to take this, we're going to take this color right here and put it in the crease as well. And bring it down on the lid a little. So that is that. And then also we're going to bring and put this purple, excuse me y'all, this purple right here in the crease a little bit. And so that is that. And then we're going to do a blend out. It's turning out pretty good. We're going to go back in this dark brown back into the crease. And then we're going to take this color right here and put it on the lid. That so we're actually um hold on y'all um we throw with the eyes so the next thing I'm finna to do is is I'm gonna use my uh, makeup forever luxury baking powder and banana. I put a little into the top and so for me to bake I use this brush and 
And I say this look can be worn by the bride or bridesmaid. So it's a either one can wear it. I am going to use powder, but I'm going to try not to use it too much. So while that is baking, uh, let me just say, pull out my favorite compact we're going to be using. So I'm putting all the other stuff up. I will not need the contour stick. I'm gonna show you how to um, make it look like you contour because it is a funny way how I do it. It's not a funny way, it's a cool way how I do it. So while I am waiting on that pull out my highlighting brush and my contour stick and I want to show you how I contour give me one minute alright so now we're ready to put none other this on So I'm using the CoverGirl Queen Collection and we're doing this. Well, this will comes to play again. Okay. All right, the brush I'm looking. Okay, and so the other brush I am going to have to use is this brush here. Oh, there it is. So we're going to use my Black Radiance True Complexion Contour and Palette Medium and Dark. And I'm going to be using this color. Excuse me, y'all. It's been a while since I used it. That's all I need for that. We're gonna go back in with this. And we're going to do a real little lightening with my baking powder. Now my baking powder always come. My cousin who is a Makeup artist 
taught me this. This is what she does to her bridesmaids. She contours, and then she goes back in with her her um, baking powder and make the cut line on their face, so you cannot tell it has. They have a harsh line if it's done wrong. All right, taking the powder brush again. That's it for that. And now we're going to do highlight. And this is the NYX Globus Genius. And we're going to take this one. Right here at the end. Very soft. This is why this brush comes in handy. And now we're going to take the blush and we're going to take it in a romantic rose right here and smile the last one name we're going to take the lipstick and um no i don't want the max here we go. I'm going to take in LA Colors Cream Lipstick Latte. And yeah. And if her hair is going to like mine, just real short and she's going natural this will just be the time you just just pick it that's this is the face and um what am i oh yeah and then we're going to finish off the brows with um genius lash and um i actually sometimes double up on this You could wear eyelashes, I don't. So I'm gonna do this. And then, hold up. Okay. show you a little trick I use with this bully with my eyelashes. And there you go. This is your, it can be a bridesmaid look, a bride, uh, a bride look or a bridesmaid look, but yeah, Mostly half of my products I used was from um, LA Girl. I hope you love this look. Until then, I'm Alicia Burton. Don't forget to thumbs up this video, comment below, and subscribe to my channel. Bye.